fibrosis is another way to look at scar tissue. It's, it's scar tissue plus. Okay, some of the scar tissue that we have, you can kind of think of like spider webs, right? And so we can move the knee joint a little bit or the shoulder or whatever joint it happens to be and we can break those spider webs and we can get some range of motion back. Fibrosis is more like duct taping the joint. Okay, so now you have a, a good amount of scar tissue that has set up in that. And so when that happens, also the, the, the components that make up something that's fibrotic versus something that's strict scar tissue is they're a little bit more intense. They're stronger, their tensile strength is stronger, they're thicker. Um, so fibrosis compared to kind of what I would consider normal scar tissue is just really kind of scar tissue on steroids and it's a lot harder to break through. Um, usually those are the people that need the manipulations because they've had that, um, that fibrotic tissue start to set in. And so that's the difference really between kind of general scar tissue and something that's, that's gone fibrotic. The why of fibrosis has a few different um, components that back it up. Uh, the when is based on the patient. The less I move, the sooner it happens. If genetically I'm prone to scarring, the sooner it happens, the bigger it happens. Um, you know, you can look at how you scar when you cut your finger and how your body responds to that is a pretty good clue of what's gonna happen on the inside. We've seen people that have those really big, bumpy, kind of gnarly looking scars. Um, those patients are more likely to have that same kind of body response on the inside. And so the, the when of the fibrosis uh, depends on genetics. It depends on how long you want to sit still for. It depends on things like, you know, I had a knee replacement and then I had an infection and then I had another knee replacement. And so if you have all of these other things that, that come with it that limit your ability to move that joint, you're going to get that fibrosis a lot faster. Um, and so the when and the why kind of combine and, and based on genetics and, and kind of extenuating circumstances, but certainly the less you move the knee, the less frequently you move the knee, the more likely you are to build in that kind of block. And it really is, feels like a block um, when you get patients that have that. It's, it's not as springy as, as you get when you kind of push them as it is when you get just a general scar tissue. I think X10 helps prevent scar tissue in general, right? If we can prevent general scar tissue, we certainly can prevent scar tissue on steroids when you talk about something like a fibrosis because you get in and you get moving early.